Just outside of Ashtabia, this the southern front of this conflict, and in many ways it's becoming the forgotten front of the conflict, and it, it has that feel to it. Now, while the commanders here tell me they do come into contact almost daily with Qaddafi forces, these gun trucks behind me have not been fired for quite some time, and this is sort of the westernmost front. Everything to the west of me or behind me belonged to Qaddafi forces, Qaddafi controlled territory all the way to the town of Brega. One of the things that we really wanted to show you, though, was the basic living conditions that members of the rebel force live in. This is a basic, simple tent for living. Over a dozen soldiers can pack into this tent at any given time, and, and they've had to make do uh, with what they have. The conditions here are very harsh in the desert. It's incredibly windy. Everything uh, gets sandy. The weapons, the equipment, everything. So, simple idea of a refrigerator, cold drinks, very hot in the desert. They've just dug a hole, covered it with some wood, taken some old ammunition crates to keep their drinks cold keep morale up, and morale is an easy thing to let go when you're on a forgotten front of a war. The soldiers tell me one of their favorite things is their dog, which they've named Jimmy. Logistics are obviously very important, especially when it comes to medical care. Every fighting force should have medics, but there are none here on the southern front. In fact, only three medical students, and they cover an area as big as 30 kilometers long, this front line, doing it with very simple equipment. We're basically talking about bandages and tapes. Now, the rebels here are telling us that some have died from wounds that they probably would not have had they received the proper medical care.